Hi, this is Leah Savoli. I am at the Conscious Life Expo with ID8 TV, and I am sitting here with Rachel Kirkland and Peter Hansen. Nice to meet you guys. And you guys have created what's called the Sacred Counterpart. Yes. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, so basically Peter and I were both doing our own kind of psychic channeling and shamanic work before we came together. Then when we came together we felt like there were a lot of clients needing this divine masculine, divine feminine counterbalance. So we just naturally started working together with clients and kind of bridging this gap of what it means to when you come into spiritual alignment with yourself and your own feminine and masculine aspects, how that translates into a relationship. Because inevitably, all of the spiritual development that we do on our own translates into the relationships that we have, whether it's romantic relationships or relationships with those at work or family. So just the relational dynamics to spiritual development. It's a really cool perspective to get both the divine masculine and the divine feminine on things. You know, you don't often hear both perspectives. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Together. And so Peter, was this something that maybe in your life you had struggled with prior to, you know, pers on your personal journey of oh, masculine and feminine? I was going to ask that because it's like I, I created Rachel. <laughs> I manifested her. That's the thing, you know. I, I, I was in a After place many years of challenges. <laughs> yes, exactly. You know, I had to find the, the divine balance within myself between the masculine and the feminine to find that in the, on the outside, you know, to reflect that, you know, and find somebody who was like me, not the polar opposite, you know. Right. And that's how we decided to come together as, as a sacred couple and teach other couples and, and individuals, you know, to how it is to live as a secret, sacred couple. So all our challenges, not challenges, but our gifts and challenges together, you know, and growth, we share that openly, you know, and, and we actually do sessions with people. Some flew us to Mexico, a couple, you know, we work with them for three days. It's like, it's really awesome because you see it firsthand because we've been through it. Right. It's like you have to try it before you can teach it, you know? Well, I got that feeling. I got that, that feeling about you was that there was something here that when this came together is what then brought, obviously, this to fruition, but it was from your own personal experience. Yes. So we have a website and, and we teach it and we, we do our individual things too. We got psychic development as well. So it's, it's, it's all coming together, you know, like full cycle, you know, because it is all about personal growth, you know, yeah. and we all have the gifts. As a single woman who has been single for a very long time, um, what is like maybe one tip or one piece of advice that you would give singles out there that are looking to get to this level of sacred commitment? So it's, it's going to sound cheesy, but I would literally say to work on yourself because this is the thing is that when you get, and you, everyone knows this, but there, you get to this point to where you don't feel like you need or are looking for someone else and that's when they appear because you're already completely embodying what you desire. And naturally then it shows up. It just, that's the law of the universe and that's the way it works. And even in a relationship, it's funny, all the gurus and those that we've looked to over years, they don't have relationships. We see them very much like single Buddha yes. on the mountaintop. We don't have an example of a sacred couple trying to actually integrate. What does that look like to be that at that is level so, and to integrate it relationally? That is so deep. I mean, even just, you know, Mary and Joseph just flashed through my head and that was that was arranged. <laughs> yes, it's so true. It's so true. And we don't have a lot of study on their spiritual mm -hmm. dynamic of their relationship. Mm -hmm. So even as a single, and it's funny, as much as it is a relational journey, it's always also singular. It's not mutually exclusive. It's like, I still have to work on my crap. Otherwise, this is not going to work. And the same with him. And he has to work on his issues. Relationship that when stuff like that come up triggers or past life or early in this lifetime uh, any kind of difficulties history whatever you know with other partners we handle it differently you don't blame the outside you don't blame the partner you don't judge well and that's for some people just getting to that place in life where you realize that you could be having an argument with a roommate and it's not them, it's you. It takes forever sometimes to just get to that part, let alone to be able to open it up and let somebody else see all the deep, dark, when you learn, wonderful you things. Hell, you know, that's when you, you can change it, you know? Yeah. It's huge. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So is there a workshop coming up? Yes, so, well, we teach... <laughs> we teach this 
speaking of. <laughs> yeah, I know. There's a huge, gigantic, it's like one of those big checks that you get on Publishers Clearinghouse. But basically, <laughs> we're teaching a workshop. We teach these workshops together um, as a cooperative, and this is about learning your psychic gifts. Okay, um, because we do feel like part of the personal empowerment of this journey, whether again you're a single or you're doing it as a couple, is learning to step into who you are, your connections, trusting what's coming through, following those intuitive guidance. So we teach workshops on that, um, and that workshop is coming up. Yeah, the next one, this is in Santa Monica, and we have them online. So Now I see it says here, extra $100 off for Conscious Life yes, Expo Weekend. So red button. <laughs> so if someone's watching this, even if it's a couple days from now, if they reach out and say they saw your Conscious Life Expo interview, can we honor that? Definitely, yes. Excellent. Awesome. Yes. Well, thank you guys so much for talking to ID8 TV and we, uh, we look forward to learning more about you guys. Awesome.